Here we have the stream running through a marina, so we'll look at how to safely enter a tidal marina and also how to turn the boat around using the stream if the need arises. Now we're out in the middle of the river and we're going to drive across the river to actually see how the tide is affecting us and which way the tide is pushing us. So what we're going to do is start to turn the boat and go across the river. And there we go. We're now across the river. I'm just going to take her out of gear. Oh, and yes, you can really feel the tide coming in on our left-hand side and pushing us over to the right. Now, to counteract that, I need to steer into the tide. Let's put a bit of speed on, a little bit of power, and turn up. That's it. And now I can counteract the tide pushing me down that way by moving forwards. And I'm moving forwards against the tide, but I'm actually going to go up the marina aisle, actually crabbing up there. So what's going to happen is the tide's going to be hitting my port bow, I'm going to be driving forwards, and the tide is going to be pushing me, crabbing me up sideways up the marina aisle to actually go up there. And I'm just going to be balancing that crabbing motion with a little bit of forward momentum. And you can do this really gently. You'll probably find that all you need is the boat either in gear or out of gear. Now we've got a safe and a dangerous side of the marina. The safe side is the up tide where the tide's coming from and the danger side is where the tide is taking me down to. And I want to stay basically in the middle but being aware that I don't want to go too far down to one side. To ensure that I carry on going straight down this marina aisle even though I'm crabbing down it, I can look straight ahead, straight down the marina aisle and get two things in line. Now, because quite a few of the boats are out of the water and we've got some trees behind it, I can get two things in line, a transit. And I can look at that transit and establish whether it's opening up or closing, one way or the other, to see if I'm going forwards or backwards. And at the moment, we're doing just about fine. Now I'm going to turn the boat around, and all I need to do is just turn the bow back into tide. There she comes. And I'm actually turning the boat into tide so that I can keep control all of the time. If I turned the other way, the tide would just sluice me down onto all of those problem berths and I'd stay there until the tide turned again. So the bow is just slowly coming through the tide. There she goes. And you can see that I've done this ever so gently. Hardly any power is required at all. And now I'm just going to steer the boat through the tide so that the tide is hitting the starboard bow this time and that's going to slide me out. There we go, the bow is still coming round just through the tide and now I'm just going to engage forward just gently and then we're going to side slip, crab out of the marina again. And as we go out further into the river, what we're going to do is we're going to expect more tide. The middle of the river is deeper water and that's where you tend to get a, a heavier and a stronger tidal flow. As you go up a marina aisle, you generally come out of the tide and you get less tide. And now we're clear of the marina, just coming out past the last pontoon. And when we're out, I now know that the tide is definitely coming down this way. So I can just turn into the tide and I can stem the tide whilst I get prepared to either come alongside or if I just come out of my berth, I could be getting my lines and fenders away.